Hi, here are a couple of rackets that a client dropped off for restringing. And yes, it is an old racket. In fact, it's a Prince racket. And if you know what racket this is, leave a comment down below. But what was unique about these racket is, um, and hopefully it's a tip, but it's more about problem solving. So um, here's a racket that I just did. He brought his second racket and I just completed it. And I think I did a better job on this one compared to this one that I did a month ago. So I'll get into what I did to uh, restring this racket the way I did. But let me show you this first one that I did because again, it was only about a month ago. What I did when I strung it the first time is the grommets on the sides were actually still good. At least I thought it was, but now you can see how it started to break off. Uh, they're pretty brittle, I guess, and um, just in that month, I guess after restringing it, it just put more stress on the, sh the grommet, so it did break off. But it was already breaking at this, uh, in these two areas down here. So what I did on this first string job is I cut off that grommet strip and installed individual grommets using that FitX um, grommets um, system. So those didn't crack at all, but um, again, it's the ones that were, I thought were pretty good that started to break off. When I removed the grommets from this, this one that I just did successfully, uh, let's take a look at what the grommets were like. Even though it appeared to be good, uh, they're pretty brittle actually. If, you just, if I just move them to the side, I mean, they're just literally just breaking off. So that would explain why these are doing that. Uh, as for the bumper, um, I think the plastic is thicker, so it's, there's no issue with the, these barrels uh, coming off and breaking at the uh, bottom there. So, so what I did is luckily I have the uh, grommet strip for these rackets. And um, looking at a new set, I was just trying to test it out to see if this one's brittle. but. Um, it's probably because it's been out and it's um, been in the sun, but I'm still concerned that in time it'll get brittle. And so I'll show you later on what I did to uh, help protect these grommets. Now something interesting happened when I got to the bumper guard, I wanted to see how pliable it was and uh, it broke in half. So uh, I am going to be stringing this, I'm still going to use this bumper, but I'm going to uh, modify the uh, the stringing of the mains to keep this down so um, so I'll keep that so I'm gonna start off by removing the strings for this racket and then um, I'm gonna prepare the grommets the new ones for for this racket all right I did want to show you something as I'm removing the bumper guard it's uh, coming out pretty easily and uh, the barrels for each of the uh, the grommets, uh, it stayed intact. None of them broke off, so that was good. But as I remove the side pieces, I'm going to have to really be careful because what I want to make sure that I do is as I'm removing that, the, the pieces, is that I don't want to get any of the uh, barrels stuck inside the frame because, uh, as you know, if it does get stuck in there, it's going to rattle. Uh, I believe this has a trap door, so if I have to remove it, uh, I shouldn't have a problem removing it, taking it out, but I, I just wanna not have to worry about it. So I'm just really being careful. Uh, if this happens to break on me, then I'm gonna make sure that I'm uh, really paying attention so that, um, that it doesn't get stuck in there. So I don't know if it's gonna happen on any, any of these, but I'm just gonna be ready to make sure that I, um, catch that grommet barrel before it does get stuck in there so so far so good and i got all of that off and then the rest are the individual grommets so i'm not too concerned about that i will remove it though because i am going to install a new set of grommet strips so let me um do this side because i that first strip wasn't problematic but when i did uh this racket uh there were some that were just breaking off and i had to make sure that it didn't get stuck in and get stuck in the frame. So I'm going to slowly take this off here. Um, and it's probably coming off easily because of the fact that it's just on the, the sides of the frame. Uh, the ones that were getting stuck 
were the ones that were uh, kind of wedged in there because of the angle of the string. So, so yeah, I was fortunate that that didn't happen. But you really want to be careful to make sure that none of the, the fragments get stuck inside the frame. All right, so maybe I should show you how I'm actually removing these individual grommets. So first I'm going to cut off the, the tie-off ones and anything that's angled. I want to make sure that the barrel is nice and round and not flared out. So I already cut some of these, but I'm going to cut the ones that are still uh, angled here. And so I got all of that cut out. And what I have is these barrels on the outside, and that's where I'm going to pull it um, out from. And I have another set of uh, cutting pliers that I use specifically for this. So I don't use the, the one I normally string with because I don't want to mess that up. So what I'm going to do is basically push it out a little bit and then just grab these uh, cutting pliers. You just want to make sure that you're not going to mar the frame. So I'm kind of I'm being careful about that too. And I'm just kind of pinching it right here. What's good about this is that it has a nice uh, thin um, blade so it's easy to get under the the barrel uh, whereas if you try to use something like a pliers it would be hard to get under there so I'll do a couple more here and then and whatever you can do to push it out would help too so that'll create a little bit more space like this one right here uh, you can just pull it out right here like that all right so I finished removing the rest of the grommets and what I'm going to do next is uh, prepare the grommet strip. So here, are this, this is the new set, and again, with the broken bumper guard. And to prepare it, what I'm going to do is actually put some protectant on it. I mean, why not? Um, so I'm going to use this. I mean, typically, you would use this on a car for your tires or vinyl, uh, something like, uh, well, this is uh, like Armor All, and it's a Napa brand. I also have this uh, really good stuff that I use for my car, but uh, I'll be using this too. Uh, I'll use a spray first because it, it'll get into all the crevices and I just want to really coat it with, um, with this. So um, yeah, it's just in time I'll know if this actually works because I've never done this before. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a really um, nice, uh, just kind of soak it with this uh, uh, vinyl protectant and I'll just kind of wipe off the access but I'll just let that sit there for uh, until I coat it with the other protectant and so I'm hoping this will keep it uh, more protected from the sun I mean it does say it's UV uh, protectant so uh, it can't hurt and I'll go ahead and do all these pieces Got the bumper guard. Well, for one thing, it's going to be nice and shiny, so it'll um, have a nice shiny look. Got All right, so I got it in every uh, little crevice there, someone in the holes, but that's all right. Uh, all right, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna coat it with this other uh, vinyl protectant, just uh, for good measure. So this is, uh, again, what I use for my tires, usually for my car, and it's, uh, it's a pretty expensive one. It's made by Adams. It's this, uh, this, um, graphene VRT so this is it, it comes out in a cream so I'm just gonna apply it to this rag um, that and so I'm just gonna give this um, each of the pieces this nice final coating of this so you could probably get by with just one of the uh, with the other protectant that I used you don't have to do this I just want to do this just because I have it. But, um, so I'm gonna leave a coating of that on there. It's still a little bit um, wet. What's good is though, when it dries, it's, uh, it's dry to the touch. So 
it's nice that it's gonna soak in there for now and I'll just leave it like that so again I don't know if this tip will actually work I guess in time uh, when I see my client again I'll check his racket to, to see if his grommets are staying uh, intact if it's uh, cracking So I'm going to go ahead and install the uh, grommet strip onto the racket next. All right, so I'm going to install the grommets and I did another video where I installed uh, a grommet strip. So I'll provide the link down below, but I start off with the, the bottom piece, the throat here. And then usually I will grab one of the side pieces and start from the bottom going up. And you're going to just line them up to the holes. And if they cooperate, it'll just pop right in there and so far so good. But if you need to guide it in with an awl, which I didn't have to on this one, um, I have an awl there that I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so here's a good example right here. So there's one down here. I'm just going to line it up to the hole and make sure that the main thing is you don't want to force it in there because the worst thing you could do is um, smash the, the barrel and then it won't even be able to go through the hole and then if you do get it through the hole it's just gonna look uh, it's not gonna look good so all right so I got those in all right so this uh, top bumper piece uh, luckily it, it broke right at 12 o'clock so it won't look so bad that I um, that it broke there but um, I'm gonna make sure that I heat these up because I want to make sure that they're nice and uh, pliable so you usually do about 10 or 15 seconds and so I'll just find the center hole and it's right there and you're just gonna work your way outwards and again you can use the awl if you need to help guide it in okay that's going to be a problem that popping out in the center but that's why i'm going to modify the string the stringing of this at that point right there so that's going to continue to pop out so what i'm going to do is grab a zip tie and just kind of hold it down with that temporarily until i i'm ready to string the racket all right i got a couple of zip ties so i'm going to go ahead and secure this first one here So it just stays in place right there okay and then we'll do the second second side right. and it just goes right in there I didn't even have to use the awl in this one luckily so it's just that this is popping out in the center so i'll go ahead and secure this with the cable tie here all right to start the mains i'm not going to use a yusuke method like i normally do and i'm still using the around the world pattern so what i'm going to do is i have the strings here uh, set up so i have the short side and the long side but i want to cross the two mains at the top to secure this bumper guard that's split over here at the top so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just pre-weave this next um, string here and i'll cut off the zip tie after i tension uh, the string and so basically i'm going to use a string clamp backed up with the starting clamp so i'll place the string clamp here and then I'll back it up with the starting clamp here. And so what I'm going to do is tension this first main on the right side here. All right, so now I'm going to apply tension to this string on the left side that's held by the starting clamp and the string clamp. And I can clamp here. So 
So now you have this loose string in the middle, but that, that can now be tensioned. So I'm gonna bring this clamp back over here. So that's one of the good things about having this 360 uh, track is that you can go to the opposite side. And then what I'm gonna do is go under the, the cable tie here. And then once I get this string installed, then I can remove the cable tie and install the rest of the mains the way uh, you normally would. All right, here's an interesting twist. I was planning to tube the eighth main on the top and the bottom because of the uh, amount of stress that the string places on the frame and the grommet in this area. Um, and that's what I did on this racket. In fact, I did one on the seventh main uh, because it started to split. And uh, luckily it didn't harm the racket or the string. But on this racket, I'm already on the on the fifth main and this one right here started to split. So then I had to release the tension and then, and then I uh, measured the grommet so that it's uh, about the same length as the barrel itself. And then I uh, bend it, bent it over on the uh, outside of the frame so that it's secured by the string here. But now that I'm on this next main, this one also did the same, but this is a tie off hole. So what I wanna do is make sure that I leave a little bit of length because I will be tying off on this string eventually. So, um, and I did another video, um, tubing techniques and tips, so you can check that out. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put tension on this, uh, pull tension on this. I wanna make sure that I hold this tubing in place though because that's what's gonna protect the, the string and the frame. All right, so what I decided to do is I'm gonna tube all of the, uh, uh, the, the top and the bottom of the eighth mains on each side. And if I'm looking at this racket that uh, has the broken grommets, uh, two out of the four are broken at number eighth main. Uh, there's a couple at um, the seventh main also, but I did tube that one up there. The others look okay. Uh, hopefully that won't crack after the fact, but I'll go ahead and Tube it. I'm using Teflon tubing again because uh, the holes are small and I can't use the nylon tubing. So I went ahead and uh, cut the tubing for this hole right here and I have enough length so that when it bends into the next hole, it won't be blocking the hole. I also have one already pre-measured here. But when I get to this one on the top here, I'll show you what I'll do about this one since there is a blocked, it is blocked by another string. All right, I'm at the hole that is blocked by another string, actually is these two crosses here. And I just uh, inserted my awl to enlarge the hole. And you do need to be careful not to stab the uh, string that's blocking the hole. So I'll go ahead and remove the awl. And because it's being blocked by this string, what I did is I cut an angle at the tip of this uh, Teflon tubing so that it can go in that space, which is right above that string that's blocking the hole then you can insert it into the the grommet uh, because i did try to do it without a tip at first and it would it kept smashing so it wouldn't go in but now you can see it's sticking out right there so i'm going to go ahead and trim it so that it's um, flush to the edge of that barrel and then i'm just going to bend it over to the next hole which is this string and cut it off right there And then I'll go ahead and uh, start stringing the rest of the crosses at this point. And I'm assuming that um, it's going to be smooth sailing. Uh, again, on this racket, there were some broken ones on the sides over here on the, uh, you know, on the sides at three o'clock. Um, you know, it may crack in time. I hope it doesn't. But uh, hopefully with the uh, protectant that I put on the grommets, it'll uh, stay good for a long time. All right, so I reached the last cross string and this is the long tubing that I left here for the tie off. So uh, luckily it is a pretty big hole, but I'm gonna just uh, lubricate the hole and just enlarge it a little bit just to make sure that the string will go through easily. And uh, you really need to be careful when you use your awl. You wanna make sure that you angle your awl away from the string 
and I'm just going to go until I can see the tip. So right there, you can see that tip right there. But I'm going to leave it in there until I'm ready to push the string through and do it almost simultaneously. Oh, I need to tension the string first. So let me get this uh, here. All right, so I'm gonna get the uh, tip of the string and I'm just gonna remove the awl and put it right through. Actually, that was pretty easy. I didn't even need to use that technique. But again, if you wanna get more tips on tubing, I uh, have a video that I did that gets more into detail about different techniques. So again, I'm gonna just tie on top of the tubing that I left long on purpose. And I'm just gonna go ahead and Make sure that both loops are on that tube, tubing. All right, so here's the final product. Uh, remember I did tube the outer mains, the eighth on the top and the bottom. I also encountered some other grommets that I had to tube. So there were some that actually cracked along the way. Uh, like I mentioned, I think this is the fifth one on this side, or on this side, and the tie off one right here. So all the ones that are cracked have tubing in it, it's just tubing in the holes. It's just that it doesn't look very nice. Um, but, you know, this is uh, the only way I could string this particular racket uh, short of installing individual grommets. But I'm not going to do that on every single hole. Again, this is, uh, you know, just trying to problem solve along the way. And I felt like, um, you know, having the protectant on the grommet might help prolong it. Well, I guess we'll just see. But I do have one more set left. So I have an idea. In this video, it was more about problem solving. Well, and hopefully this tip will work. Thanks for watching. Happy stringing. And let your strings play.